Rob, it feels an absolute age since we've played at home, doesn't it? But here we are, tomorrow, tomorrow night, Barrow are the visitors. Yep, yep, uh, looking forward to it. Uh, it'd be great to be back in front of the home home fans and um, it does feel a long, long time, but weather, weather seems to have changed a little bit as well in that time now. Coats are on and uh, probably be a chilly night, but hopefully we can uh, get everyone warmed up with a good performance. But in those four back-to-back-to-back-to-back to back to back to back away games, the fans have been fantastic as well, haven't they? Yeah, um, obviously a big trip, a long trip on the weekend to Hartlepool and again, thanks for everyone for coming. The support was really much appreciated. It was nice that we were able to send everyone back with the with the three points and a good win. Um, I think they really enjoyed it. It was nice to go over and say thank you again after the game. And, um, yeah, they were, they were great, you know, they were brilliant. It was a good atmosphere. I thought Hartlepool's fans were really good as well. It was a good noise, even at 3-0 down, they were still going for it as well. So I thought overall it was a really good game for the atmosphere and uh, nice for us to come, come out on the right end of it, of course. And it's always nice when, when fans make a trip like that to reward them with arguably the most comprehensive performance of the season. Yeah, I think it was up there, definitely. I mean, I think the first half performance was was really good, showed lots of control, limited them to very little. We had um, we created some really good moments, took our goals well, uh, and then managed the game very well in the second half. So, yeah, overall, really, really pleased with the performance. And you made a change with Sadu Diallo coming in for his first league start for Forest Green. I personally was very impressed with him. Did, did he tick the boxes for you? I'm glad you enjoyed his performance. No, yeah, yeah, he was very good. Um, Sadu is, is someone that, you know, if you speak to the players and you speak to the staff, they'll recognise how good his football is, they'll know that, they've seen that from day one of pre-season. Um, he's a very intelligent footballer and he's very silky with the ball. Um, what I was really pleased with was, was his reliability as well with the other things, the basics, the things that people won't see so much. Um, he tracked runners really well, he was strong in his tackles, he was... Um, he reacted really well to any kind of setbacks if the team lost the ball, his reactions were great. So I was really pleased with that side of it as well. And, and, and that was following on from, from him against Warsaw. He was, he was at that level against Warsaw as well. It just shows the importance of, of what you've said throughout the season, that everyone is going to have their time and, and work hard in the sort of the other games, the Papa John's, whatever, and, and your chance will come. Yeah, I mean, we have a fully fit group at the moment, so there's going to be a lot of disappointment when we announce the team, the starting team, there'll be 11 people that are happy and then, you know, pretty much that again, that amount of people again that will be disappointed, they'll be frustrated. But the only way you get back in the team is by working hard every single day and being reliable and, and, and the lads are doing that, you know, the lads are doing that. We had a great week's training last week where everyone, everyone was on it, that was why it was the most difficult. Um, team selection I think I've had so far this season, everyone's fit and everyone's in good form. That's what you want. Put you know you, you know you you're strong when you have that, and um, so it's up to the lads to maintain their standards. We'll keep maintaining it as a group of staff as well, and, and hopefully everyone keeps pushing each other to to be better. On to, to Barrow now. What are you expecting from from them? They've got a, a similar shape again to to us, so which is what we've come up against quite a lot recently. Um, They've got a goalkeeper and farmer who can, can kick it a long way as well, so they can mix the game up, they can play and build short if they want, and play through banks in midfield, um, but they can also go long and direct to Zanzala and Gordon, and, and, and they've got good players out wide as well. Uh, Hutton in particular who's very quick out wide on the right, who, who, who was a threat. So, um, I, you know, I, I know, you know, I suppose, what is it, seven, seven games or so in the league with, without a win, but the results and the performances don't, don't look like that you know and um, it'll be a it'll be a real challenging game as every game in League Two is and uh, we got to be at it to uh, to get something from the game. And with former FGR boss Mark Cooper at the helm obviously he'll know a lot of these players having coached and brought some of them in last season does that make it more important than ever to just focus on your own game? We'll, we'll try and do that, you know, regardless. I mean, yeah, the situation's a little bit different because of Mark coming back. Um, she played a big part in the last however many years, five years at the club and, and has done a, a really, really good job. Um, you'll know a lot of the lads very well, but now we have to just concentrate on ourselves and what we can do. We can only control that and that's what we'll be looking to do.